Warning, due to YouTube's content restrictions, you can see this video in full on our uncensorable Odyssey channel at video.freekeen.com. Check, check, check. All right, good afternoon. And thank you for coming to see my speech today. I really appreciate you guys being here. Hope everyone is enjoying Porkfest. How many here first timers at Porkfest? All right, that's what I like to see. Um, my name is Ian Freeman. I host a radio program. It's called Free Talk Live. It's heard on about 190 radio stations across the United States at various different times throughout the week. And we were ranked this year at uh, number 24 on Talkers Magazine's Heavy 100, as they call it, of the, what they say is the 100 most important talk shows in the United States. So, you know, we've, we've done all right uh, for the really the only libertarian talk radio program in syndication, which is unfortunately kind of sad. Uh, when I first started doing Free Talk Live, I was hoping that you know, maybe eventually we would have some other libertarian talk shows out there that would kind of be competition for us. And unfortunately that hasn't happened. We're still the only show uh, in syndication. There still are some, there's some local hosts here, here and there throughout the United States that, have, that are libertarians, but nothing in, uh, in national syndication. So we're, we're kind of a bit of a target uh, because of that. Uh, because we are fairly visible. We are very principled. Uh, show. We talk about liberty seven nights a week. We do the show live seven nights a week. And I was asked to come here today to talk about the history of Free Talk Live and kind of where it came from and, and where it's going. But at the same time of talking about that, we also kind of have to talk about the history of the FBI and their very high level of interest in the Free State Project. Uh, and that goes back to a gentleman by the name of uh, Phil Christiana. That's the FBI agent who has been absolutely obsessed with Free Staters, even from before when I moved here in 2006. Uh, if you were to go on to the old NH Free website, which I checked a couple days ago, it's down, so I don't know if Russell Canning knows his site's down, but um, there is a... Uh, there was a post that Dave Ridley made back in 2005 about this Phil Christiana showing up at his house in Keene and he wanted to talk to him. And so Ridley actually did talk to him. Now, of course, it's generally a bad idea to talk to the police, but he did. And what, uh, what Phil Christiana wanted to do was he wanted to turn Dave Ridley into an informant for the FBI. And Ridley, of course, wasn't interested in doing that. Uh, but that was the very first time that Phil Christiana kind of made his appearance within the freedom community. And, of course, he was targeting Keene because Keene is kind of where a lot of the initial uh, activism that was really kind of noteworthy. There was a civil disobedience. Activism was going on there, and it was getting a lot of attention. And so I was paying attention to it. I wasn't living in New Hampshire at the time, and I thought, well, I definitely want to you know, be up there to be a part of this. I want to bring my show uh, up to New Hampshire and, and get the word out about what is going on up here so more freedom lovers can know about what's happening here in New Hampshire. So to go back a little bit further, we'll get back into Phil Christiana, but uh, just to kind of give you a little timeline, Free Talk Live started in 2002. So, in November of this year, we will have been doing Free Talk Live for 20 years. Thank you. Uh, I was into radio kind of as a kid. My dad used to fix electronics. He had his own hi-fi repair shop in Florida. And so I was always kind of into radio. Uh, but uh, at some point I got into pirate radio. I've always been somebody who never really liked to be told what to do. As far back as I can remember, I think I was sort of a native-born uh, libertarian or anarchist. And so I started Free Talk Live just because there was no libertarian talk shows that I was aware of. And 
friends. Uh, I had the opportunity working at a radio station for roughly, I guess, four years at that time. You know, I'd been there, they knew who I was, and uh, the station that I was working for at the time was, uh, it was an FM talk station. There were no local talk shows, so we went to a Mark Edges in the back. He was uh, part of the show back then. So we went to them and we said, uh, you know, we'll do the show, we'll do a local show for you guys, and we'll do it for free. So they said yes. And so that's how we got started. It was, at the time, it was only on Saturdays, I think, uh, Sundays. Sunday. Yep. And so that uh, that's how we got started. And it wasn't. Sh it was just like shortly after that uh, that we ended up doing weeknights. In 2018, Free Keen teamed up with LBRY.com to back up our YouTube libraries. Already protected more than one video that YouTube took down. Now in 2021, our YouTube's been given a ridiculous strike for a 15-second promo from 2011 for harmful or dangerous content. Library doesn't have strikes or any way to take down videos. Our days are numbered on YouTube. Get the app at lbry.com or follow our channel on Library's new platform, Odyssey, at video.freekeen.com.